The Kerguelen Islands, also known as the Desolation Islands, are a remote group of islands in the sub-Antarctic Southern Indian Ocean. Discovered in 1772 by the French explorer Yves Joseph, the archipelago has a harsh climate with strong winds, cold temperatures, and rugged terrain. Despite these conditions, the islands have a rich history of exploration, scientific research, and the introduction of non-native species, most notably its wild cats, all of whom have had a profound impact on its local ecosystem. After their discovery in the 18th century, the Kerguelen Islands became a stopover for whalers and sealers in the 19th century. The archipelago's isolation and lack of indigenous human inhabitants made it an ideal location for these industries. The islands were named the Desolation Islands due to their barren and inhospitable environment. The French later claimed the islands, and to this day they remain a French overseas territory. The first permanent settlement was established in the 1950s, primarily for scientific research. This led to the construction of Port au Francais, the main station on the islands. The Kerguelen Islands have since served as a hub for geophysical and meteorological research due to their location in the southern hemisphere. Over the centuries, various species have been introduced to the Kerguelen Islands, either intentionally or accidentally. These species include rabbits, rodents, reindeer, and domestic cats. The introduction of these animals has had significant consequences for the island's native flora and fauna, leading to habitat destruction and the decline of its native species. Introduced in the 19th century as a food source for whalers and sealers, rabbits quickly proliferated across the Kerguelen Islands, especially in the main island of Grand Terre. Their grazing habits caused severe soil erosion and the destruction of native vegetation, which in turn affected other species dependent on these plants. Like rabbits, rodents, rats and mice were introduced accidentally, likely arriving with the ships. These rodents have predated on native seabird species, particularly ground nesting birds, leading to a decline in its native bird populations. Reindeer were introduced in the early 20th century for meat production on the Kerguelen Islands. Also initially confined to a small area, they spread across the Kerguelen Islands, further exacerbating the problem of overgrazing and habitat degradation. But perhaps the most significant of these introduced species in terms of ecological impact on the Kerguelen Islands has been the feral domestic cat. Cats were brought to the Kerguelen Islands by early settlers to control the rodent population. However, like on other islands, the cats quickly adapted to the island's vast open landscape. Keep in mind, the main island of the Kerguelen's Grand Terre is roughly the size of the Mediterranean province of Corsica. And if you recall from our previous videos about feral cats evolving on various island ecosystems, you would remember that the island of Corsica has a contested wildcat subspecies derived, descended from domestic cats kept by the Romans thousands of years ago but subsequently went feral, wild, um, and are now a fully wild animal. So the feral cats have been the Kerguelen Islands' apex predator for the last few centuries since their introduction. They prey on its native seabirds, including the Kerguelen petrel and the blue petrel, and the impact of feral cats on seabird populations has been devastating on the Kerguelens as many of these birds obviously have no defense against feline predators, such as the cases 
in Australia, New Zealand, Hawaii, and many other island ecosystems. But back to what we were talking about in regards to the Corsican cat fox, also known as the Corsican wildcat, which we discussed in previous videos. According to an article by the Polar Journal, researchers on the Kerguelens are convinced that the Kerguelens wildcats have evolved over the course of the last few centuries to become hyper-specialized hunters of seabirds, rabbits, and rodents on the island. Here, the article commences with the definition of what a feral cat is, which we should know, but in case you don't, I will read from the article. Feral cats are the offspring of domesticated animals returned to the wild. Among terrestrial predators, they play a major role in the demography of the great albatross on Kerguelen. And in the paragraph below that, I will read the final sentence. On Kerguelen, hyper-specialized cats threaten the chicks of the great albatross. At the other end of France's overseas territories, the cats of the Kerguelen Islands are a source of blood and ink. On February 18th, the scientific journal Ecosphere published a study showing that the survival of albatross chicks in colonies on the Corbet Peninsula does not depend on cat density, but rather on the presence of individuals specialized in hunting chicks. Let's look back at the history of this animal. The little feline companion of explorers, hunters, and then farmers has been introduced on several occasions. The last one between 1951 and 1956 led to a biological invasion of the archipelago. The number of cats was estimated at 7,000 in 1990, leaving many seabird corpses in their wake. In 2014 and 2017, almost 30 years later, what was true for small birds became true for larger ones. And you may choose to believe what you want to with the information I just read, but I will continue to the next paragraph. Among albatross-eating cats, there are large specimens weighing almost 5 kilograms. And just so you know, uh, 5 kilograms may sound like an average-sized cat, but uh, certainly maybe on the larger size, larger end, of the scale for an average house cat, but keep in mind these cats are fully wild, so these cats are quite formidable predators. Studies on the evolution of these beasts show that their skeletons have been strengthened in the skull and jaws. These little panthers are black and white, and when they are not taking refuge in the underground, they're sheltering in small rocky caves, littered with skeletons, feathers, and sometimes other congeners. Living night and day, they patrol a territory of around 50 hectares, catching mice in the grassy beds and waiting for rabbits to emerge from their burrows. The plumper, furrier, albatross chicks are of interest just before winter, when the adults are at sea. And below, you can see a video of one of these Kerguelen's cats hunting an albatross, a young albatross. So, gathering everything we've read in this research, these Kerguelen cats sound awfully similar to the situation we have discussed in our previous videos from our feral mega cats in Australia, New Zealand, our Madagascar forest cats, the Cretan wildcat, and also our aforementioned Corsican cat fox, also known as the Corsican wildcat, all evolving in response to the demands of their introduced environment. Efforts to control the feral cat population have been challenging due to the island's extremely remote location and harsh environment. Eradication programs have been proposed, but the logistical difficulties of implementing such programs on the islands made them difficult to carry out. Long story short, the cats 
of the Kerguelens are there to stay. Will they continue to follow the suggested evolutionary trajectory that they are taking and eventually hunt even larger prey? Certainly something for us all to speculate. Certainly something for us all to explore. Thank you all again so much for tuning in to this installment of Eclectic Explorations. I truly appreciate all of your support, and if possible, do buy me a coffee, link below. That is the ultimate way to help me out the most. Until next time, Eclectic Explorations. <laughs>